Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today I want to show you how to update your TriCaster even if it's not connected to a network. Now, before we get started, I do need to mention that you will still need an internet network connection either at the time of this or prior to updating your TriCaster just so you can obtain the updates manually. So, you can do this from either a PC, Mac, whatever computer you have, tether it to your phone, however to get your network connection, but you will still need to have an internet network connection to at least obtain those updates. Now, let's dive in and show you how to do that. All right, so I'm on my laptop, which is connected to the internet, and the first thing I'll need to do is open up a web browser, and let's visit our downloads page at www.newtech.com downloads. Now this is where you would normally go to update your TriCaster, uh, even on the machine itself. So, but we're going to do this on this PC. So, uh, once we're on this site, let's scroll down to find the product that we're going to be using. And in my case, I'm using the TriCaster TC1. So, I'll look for the current version of the software and click download. And that's going to download an executable file. Go ahead and open that up. It'll show up under your downloads folder. And we'll go through the typical license agreement. We'll say accept to that. And from here, this is where you can go to tell where you want this particular download to go to. All right. Now from here, I only want to focus on the update for the TriCaster. So I don't need any of these drivers, animation store creator, virtual set editor, or the content. I just want this driver. Okay. So TC1 upgrade uh, 190606 is the version that I'm currently on at the time of this video. So we'll hit next. Now from here, what it's going to do is download this file over to my destination folder. So now all I have to do is wait for this to download, and then I'll have an executable file plus some .bin files to use so that I can then install those on the TriCaster. OK, now that the download is complete, let's navigate to where we've downloaded those files. So I'm going to open up an Explorer window, and we'll search my C drive. And there it is. That's the folder that we just created in the beginning. All right, and then you'll see in here I have an executable file, which is the TC1 update, and two .bin files. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to copy this entire folder, right-click on it, and select Copy. And now I'm going to move this over to my removable hard drive, my Seagate drive, and just paste those contents in there. So now that we have those files downloaded and copied over to a external media drive, now I can plug that external media drive into the TriCaster to access those updates. OK, so now let's move over to the TriCaster TC1 interface, where I've already plugged in my external media drive into one of the USB ports. So, from here, I'll select Shutdown, Administrator Mode, and Exit to Windows. And then from here, all I have to do is open up the external media drive folder in an Explorer window. So, I'll go to my Seagate drive, and there it is, the TriCaster build 7-17-2019. Now from here, what I'm going to do is I want it off of this drive, so I'm just going to copy it. And then let's move this over to the D drive. Now, uh, a reason why I want to put this over here on the D drive is because if ever we need to restore the TriCaster for some reason, then the C drive is going to be overwritten completely. So if we want to hold on to this particular update, I can throw it onto the D drive or my E drive, so that way I can access it later on. Just a little important safety tip. Okay, and now from here, all I have to do is just open up this folder and then double click on this TC1 update. Now it is important to note that you will need both the executable file and all of the .bin files that came with that download. So now all you have to do is double click on this executable file. We'll accept the license agreement. And then we're off and running and updating our TriCaster. And our TriCaster doesn't even need to be on the network to do this. Now this is a good practice to keep that update around just in case something catastrophic happens and you have to restore the system. Just to have that update there is good because after you do a restore, you want to make sure that you have the most 
up-to-date software to install on the TriCaster, even if you're not connected to a network, and even if you just don't have time to download the update, having it around is a good way to go. Now, if you like this tutorial but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com demo for a personalized demonstration by yours truly, and I'll show you all the ins and outs of our TriCaster systems. Also, be sure to follow us and tag us in your Instagram posts at New Tech Inc. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash New Tech Inc. for videos like this and more. Till then, thank you for watching and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. Yeah.